Praise God. Amen. We praise God again. Amen. 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 We thank God for yet a lovely, wonderful day to hear His word and to know more about Him. As we're going to start, let's start with a word of prayer. Our God and our Father, this wonderful morning, we thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the strength that Lord you have given unto us today. Bless, O oh God. Um, the word of today that we are going to hear and we pray that lord you may help us to be the doers of your word not only the listeners we give you glory we give you honor we give you praise and adoration for it is in the mighty name of jesus christ to do pray believing and trusting amen. amen so thank you for another chance and wonderful time that the lord has given unto us today and we pray that wherever you are may this good news reach you and may it find you well and we also pray that you may also uh, be having a willing heart to share. And as you listen, may you also be blessed. So we're going to start with our worship so that we may welcome the Spirit to lead us. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you are.
have seen it because of your greatness. We have seen it because of your mercies, Lord. We're not here, Lord, because of our own great, because of our own might, Lord, but because of your grace, O King of all the glory. You say that your grace is sufficient upon our lives, O God, and that your mercies are new every morning, O King of all the glory. We did not deserve any of this, O God, but Lord, because of your mercies, O King of all the glory, you have sustained us with health. Lord, you have sustained us with goodness, O God, and we bless your name, O King of all the glory. We thank you for the goodness, O God, of this day that, Lord God Almighty, you have brought unto us, my Father, my Jesus. For you say that, Lord God Almighty, let us enter your gates, O God, with thanksgiving, my Father, my Jesus. How I pray that, Lord God Almighty, may your spirit, O God, guide us this day. May he fall, O God, and may he reign, O God, in abundance, O King of all the glory. In everything that you are going to say, O God, may it not come from our hearts hearts, O oh God. May it not come from our minds, O oh God, but may it come from you, O oh King of all the glory. May your anointing, Lord, be in us, O oh King of all the glory. We pray that, Lord God Almighty, in whatever that, Lord God, we do, Lord, I pray that we may acknowledge you before us, O oh King of all the glory. For we declare less of us, Lord, but more of you this day, O oh King of all the glory. I thank you for, O oh God, the family, Abba Father, every family represented at this place, O oh God, every family that will get to listen to this word, O oh God, we pray that, Lord, you may sustain us, O God, that, Lord, you may uplift us in our weakness, O God. May your strength, O God, be perfected. Father, we give you glory. We give you adoration, Jehovah, Lord, even for the sick in hospital this morning. Father, we pray that, Lord, you may heal them. For you say by your stripes, Lord, we are healed. And we declare, O God, healing Abba, Father, and we... Thank you, Jehovah, Lord, for we know, O oh God, that your promises are a yes and an amen, O King of all the glory. We thank you even for the orphans, O oh God. We pray that, Lord, you may cover them, O oh God. May you shield them, O oh God, and cover them under the shadow of your wings, O King of all the glory. You say that you shall be with them, O oh God, and that you shall always support them, my Father, my Jesus, as they as they have woken up today, Lord God Almighty, may you be their strength, may you be their encourager, O King of all the glory. I want to thank you, Jehovah Lord, for those who are lacking this day. I thank you that, Lord God Almighty, remind us that your grace is sufficient, O God, and that you are our provider, O King of all the glory. You shall provide our needs in accordance to your riches, O God, in glory and in Christ Jesus. Lord, we pray that, Lord, you may provide our needs, O King of all the glory. May we not lack, O God, for you say, O God, as David said, that he has been old and he has been young and now he's old lord he has never seen the righteous forsaken O king of all the glory we pray that lord you may build us up to be what you want us to be O king of all the glory and we pray that lord god almighty in everything that we do help us always O god to put our focus in you O king of all the glory we thank you for the word that it shall be spoken today i pray that lord god almighty you may not uh, let it go empty or void, O King of all the glory. Let it accomplish its purpose, O King of all the glory. And as you do that, Lord, may all the honors and glory embark unto you. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We honor you for it is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ to do prayer with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Praise God once again. Amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time, God, God is good. good. That is his nature. So we, we have our readings, and let us hear our reading. Praise God. Amen. Hope that you are well and healthy. And God is keeping you safe. My name is Paul Kelly Jenga. I am the Lord as my personal savior. Today's reading comes from the book of Deuteronomy 7, verse 14. 9 to 11. Deuteronomy 7, 9 to 11. And I believe that you are there. We will read together. And it says, Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, he is the faithful God, keeping his covenant of love to a thousand generations of those who love him and keep his commands. 
But those who hate him, he will repay to their faith by destruction. He will not be slow to repay to their faith those who hate him. Therefore, take care to follow the commands, decrees, and laws I give to you today. That's the word of the Lord. Thanks. And our second reading shall come from the book of Joshua, chapter 21, verse 43 to 45. And it says, So the Lord gave Israel all the land he had sworn to give their forefathers, and they took possession of it and settled there. The Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had sworn to their forefathers. Not one of their enemies withstood them. The Lord handed all their enemies over to them. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to the house of Israel failed. Everyone was fulfilled. That's the word of God. Uh, to welcome our preacher of the word, we are going to sing a beautiful hymn, Standing on the Promises of God. on the promises of Christ my King, through eternal ages let His praises be, glory in the highest hour shall
for the fire that our Lord has brought us. Because indeed we can say or we can testify that the Lord has been gracious to us. He has remembered us in one way or another and that is why we are healthy and we are alive this wonderful morning. So this morning I'm saved. Christ is my saviour and I'm so much grateful uh, to him for the way he has been together with me and my family. So I thank God for giving us this opportunity to come to you through the YouTube and to witness of the Lord's dream. He has been gracious to us. And so we ought to be grateful and to thank him for this far because he has been our Ebenezer. Even if we are still in the period of COVID-19, truly he has been together with us and protected us all through. It's not because we know how to protect ourselves, but it is because of his grace and his mercy that has been following us like the way David did one say. That the goodness and mercy shall follow him all the days of his life. We have seen this as a testimony because his mercy and his goodness has been following us all through and that is why we are coming back to you again. I want us to pray for the word so that we hear what the Lord wants us to hear today. Let us pray. Our Lord and our God, in the name of Jesus Christ, this morning we humble ourselves before thy presence. We acknowledge that you alone is our God and there is none like you. We worship you, Lord, and we lift your name on high. Father, for the Father that you've taken us, O King of Glory, we also, Father, pray, Father, that you're going to teach us your word, O God, and as I, I, uh, as I preach your word, or as I say, Father, whatever you want me to say, I want to commit myself to you this morning. Cleanse me and wash me, O God, through the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on Calvary, O God. And thank you, Lord, for forgiving me. Thank you, Lord, for washing me, O Lord. Thank you, Lord, because you're going to use me, O King of Glory. I lift your name and I glorify you, O God. So, Father, we pray, Father, that you're going to plant the seed in our hearts that will be further that will grow into uh, into productivity O king of glory so that the lord when you look at us and uh, father see us O god you see the reflection of you as we run your word as father we also do according to your will because we know when we get to do that lord you're going to bless us O god so we commit ourselves to you this morning as we pray and trust in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, our reader, because you've read to us the word of God. And I want us to, or the theme of today is about God's faithfulness. Because God is faithful to those who are faithful. That is the theme of today's word, that God is faithful to those who who are faithful. And as we have read from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, we know about the book of Deuteronomy. This book that was written by Moses, it was about them, uh, or a journey that they, they were to take. The, the, the Israelites were in, a, in the desert for such a very long time, as we can see. 40 years are not, they, they are, they are not uh, so easy years to live in the desert. And now we can see the Lord, the Lord is instructing Moses uh, to teach the Israelites on how they were supposed to live. Because the promise of God was that God was taking them to the land, that good land that he had promised them, that is Canaan. And we see in this book of Deuteronomy, it, it, it's the place that they now started the journey to go and acquire the land. And God wanted to remind them that so long as they were faithful to him, he, God, was to guide watch over them, protect them, until that time they had to get to that promised 
land. And it is true in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7, we see Moses reminding uh, the Israelites the faithfulness of God. Uh, in uh, chapter 7 verse 9, it, it says, Know therefore that the Lord your God is good. He is the faithful God. The, 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 the Moses wanted to remind them they had seen the hand of God. The, the Israelites had seen the hand of God at work since when God brought them out from Egypt. They were crying in the wilderness for water when they were thirsty. And we see how tough that area can be. In most cases, it's so hard to find springs or wells in the desert. And when they cried to the Lord, he used to hear their cries. He, he provided whatever they needed. Uh, we can also see God providing food that was falling like clay. In fact, it is, it's not so usual to see food falling from heaven. This is to say, it is true, they had seen God's faithfulness. In any case, for those 40 years, I don't think in the desert there were those manufacturers or the tailors of clothes. God, in his own ways, used to clothe them. And that is why God was reminding them in this book that, yes, you had seen that the Lord is good. So Moses was reminding the Israelites of the goodness of God. He is the faithful God. God is so faithful to those who are faithful because this is a two-way traffic. You be faithful to God and he, you will acquire whatever God has promised to you. You fail to be faithful. Then you, there is no one who you can blame on that. And then we, we continue by keeping his covenant of love. God is faithful to keep his covenant of of love, so long as we are focused in Him, we should not swerve from this side to another side seeking for comfort mm -hmm. because that is what usually we as Christians do. We swerve from this direction when something comes, you want to get that something, and maybe it is not made in the light way. Uh, then it continues to say, to a thousand generation of those who love him and keep his commands. God is faithful to the generations of those who love him and keep his commandments. Are we faithful to God? Do we keep his commandments? And that is the same place that he says, but those who hate him, he will repay their faces by destruction. If we are not faithful, distractions will follow on our way. We shall not succeed in what we are doing. If we are, we are not focused in our God. Everything that we are supposed to be doing in this life should be, is it present to God? Not to human beings. Because as Christians of today, even the Gospels that we are teaching today, they are so much focused on people. Yeah, we want, we want to hear that the Lord is going to bless us. And in most cases, some of the churches are preaching about money. Give and you will be blessed. No, there's not, nothing like that. It is, you will be faithful to God and he will be faithful. You follow the Ten Commandments and God will exalt you. And God will fight for you and me. Praise God. How oh, may God help us. And now, as we continue and go to our next reading, that was Joshua, the book of Joshua, uh, chapter 21, and verse 43 to 45. It's the same promise that the Lord had with the Israelites. And when he promised them that he is going to give them such a wonderful place to settle in. Yes, they went through so many challenges. 
There were so many challenges on their way. One is that Moses, the one that they were so used to as the servant of God, as their leader, Moses died even before he, he, he went to that land. So he never went to the land. He died. That is a challenge. He died. And when Joshua took over, uh, Joshua also had some challenges in front of him. He had those challenges. And very tough one. Because he was to face his enemies so that they were able to acquire the land. He was to fight the enemies. But the promises of God, as we have read, are yes and amen. When God promises you good health, he is faithful to give health to you. When God promises breakthrough, he is faithful to give you the breakthrough that you need. If your prayer is about you want to study and attain the best of the grades, so long as you are faithful to God, he will also be faithful to you. You will get it. Praise God. And that is why we see in the book of Joshua chapter 21 verse 43, so the Lord gave Israel all the land he had sworn to give to their forefathers. We see a promise keeper who is our God. But as we were saying, it's a two-way traffic. If you want to access that land, if you want to access God's blessings, if you want to access peace or rest, you must follow God with the whole of your heart. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Giving is good, yes. We must give our possessions. The 10% that is a commandment in the book of Malachi chapter 2 and 3. It's a commandment to give what the Lord has given you, yes. But I am telling you, if we are faithful to God, if we walk in his ways, if we are not compromising, because Christians today are compromising, just wait and see. We are just about to go to 2021, the erections year. And you find the church, those people who believe in God, they are in politics because they would want to add something from that. Praise God. God is, we serve a jealous God. He would not want to be mixed with these worldly things that we see, or worldly pressures that we find ourselves in. Can we stand strong in God? Can we be firm in what we believe in? Because that is what will help us to attain the land that the Lord has promised to give us. Praise Jesus. We can see again in the book of Psalms 25 from verse 8. And the Bible says, Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is light and teaches the humble his ways. All the ways all the paths of the Lord are steadfast for those who keep his covenant and his testimonials. If at all we will attain that land that the Lord is promising, is promising unto us that he's going to give us. One, we must be humble to those who are humble. God will teach us his, his ways. Why are we humble? Are we humble enough? It's good to be humble before the Lord. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Humble yourselves before the Lord. He will lift you up. Humble yourselves before the Lord. He will lift you up. He will lift you up. He will lift you up. Humble yourselves before the Lord. He will lift you up. That is the way the Lord wants us to 
happen if at all you want to attain or acquire the promised land we must train ourselves to be humble and especially in God's blessings praise God mm. praise God yeah. another aspect that if God is going to fulfill his promises to us we must obey him praise God that is another aspect that we must be obedient if the word comes and speak to our hearts and is telling us to amend our ways because we serve a God who is upright he wants you and me to be upright in everything we do let us obey praise God mm -hmm. without complaining <laughs> because in most cases we usually complain when we get to hear the word of God and it touches our heart instead of repenting we are saying other things it's good to obey obey the Lord and in fact obedience is better than sacrifice the other thing that the Lord or the other aspect that the Lord wants us to have is that we need to walk in the light do you want God to fulfill his promises and his promises are those who are righteous before him they will get the best of the land the best of everything that you need or require we must walk in the light as the book of first John says first John chapter 1 verse 7 to 8 are we determined to leave everything behind and walk in the light whether we are in in church or whether we are there because most of us are, are employed in the secular world will you walk in the light because this is a talent because most of the times we remember salvation when it is draw close to Sunday so on a Saturday you'll find that uh, we are trying to reconnect again to God because we know on Sunday we are supposed to be in church. Praise God. We are supposed to walk in the light all the times. All the times. Praise God. Oh my goodness. And when you see other people, those who are maybe in big offices, they are the ones who will say all the big words on Monday to Friday. Yes. And in fact, you cannot imagine there are those people who serves God and are Christians. Walk in the light. We are walking in the light of God. 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 We are walking. We are walking. We are walking in the light of God. Are you ready to walk in the light of God? Because in most cases, you are the same people who walk in the darkness. When it is at night, you cannot say when you find me some places that I am evangelist. Praise God. Because I am only an evangelist on daytime. But when it comes to night, I'm someone else. Let us walk in the light of God. If at all we want to attain or achieve these promises of God. Number four. Another aspect, if we want to get and possess the best of the land, you cannot do that without faith, as the book of Hebrew chapter 11 says. We cannot. Do you have faith that can move mountains? Praise God. Because our Lord has found us that as Christians, yeah, we are not strong in faith. We are having doubts. And the Lord has promised just like what he did and said to the Israelites, if you walk in with me in this journey, if you walk with me in this journey, that's the promise of God. God said, I will provide unto you. I will protect you. I will preserve you. Praise God. And that is what God do. When he promises, he fulfills. Do you have faith? Do you have faith in him? When he says he's going to bless you with everything that you've been praying for, do you have that faith? 
Because faith without also action is there. Let us see by action. I believe in God. I trust God. I am going somewhere. I'm headed somewhere. Praise God. And I have faith that one day I'll be there. Because we are believing in a mighty God who never fails. I want to conclude by quoting the book of Numbers. The book of Numbers chapter 7 as we wind up. Numbers chapter Numbers chapter 23, sorry. Uh, verse 19. 23. Verse 19. The Bible says that God is not a man that he should lie. Nor a son of man that he should change his mind. Does he speak, then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? Praise God. He, God, is not like us. I might promise you something and I fail to keep my promise. But God is not like us. When he promises, he is faithful enough to fulfill it. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Mm -hmm. To those who are feeling like they are low and they are very down, I want us to stand by those promises of God. Mm -hmm. And as the Bible says, the plans that the Lord has for us are good plans. Let us stand by the word of God. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will get whatever I've been praying for. Because I am also a prayer as God. Mm -hmm. I'm walking according to God's laws, decrees, and testimonies. That is the only thing that the Lord wants from us. When we walk with Him, everything else will come on our way. Praise God. Mm -hmm. As, I, as we get on reminding ourselves, it's all about seeking the kingdom of God first. And the rest will be added. If we walk with God, I am telling you, everything that you've been praying for, God is ready to give it to you. But your ways must be straight. When people see you, when people look at you, let them see God. Because everything that is coming out of you is the godly, the godliness in you. And when we walk with God, we shall get the best. Not only the good things, but the best that the Lord can provide. Mm -hmm. And we know for sure the Lord is the owner of everything. If you want a car, God will give you. And not a bad car, a good car. Mm -hmm. If you want a house, just walk with God faithfully. He will give you that house. If you want a prod, walk with God faithfully. He's going to give it to you. He gave the Israelites the best of the land. And the, as they looked at Canaan, it was evergreen. So everything that the Lord promises, he is ready to give the best. Not like what I can give to you as a human being but what God can give you. Praise God. Mm -hmm. If you are there, you are very young, you are praying for a spouse in your life. Don't forget that Lord will give you the best of that person. Praise God. So long as you are walking straight with God. You want good grades? Yes, you will get them. Why? Because you are walking. You are walking with God. Hand in hand. Step Praise God. Yeah. So I don't know what you want. Because you see, as we have read in that book of Joshua, when God gave them the land, the whole of the land that he promised, he gave them peace. So peace is to enjoy everything that the Lord has given us. Praise God. Mm -hmm. So he will increase us in all ways and in all dimensions.
so long as we walk in an upright way. Praise God. So may God help us and may God continue to watch over us and may God continue to hear our prayers as we wait patiently upon him. Shall we pray? Our Lord and our God, we come before your presence once more with thanksgiving in our hearts for your word. Thank you because you promised your children, the Israelites, that if they walk faithfully with you, Lord, you told them that you are a good God and upright, Lord, and you are faithful to fulfill all the promises that you had promised them, O God. And it is true, Lord, you, you did that to them. Abba Father, we pray, the Lord, you shall enable us, O God, to walk with you, to love you more. So the Lord, you're going to bless us together with our families, even further together with our nation and together with our churches, O King of Glory. Help us, your King of Glory, because we know that you are not a man that you may lie. Father, we put our trust to you, Lord, this morning, and we put our faith to you, Lord. We are looking forward, Father, the Lord, you are coming to fulfill all your promises in our lives, O God. And so, Father, we thank you for that, O King of Glory. You've heard us, O God. And, Lord, you're making a way, even those dry lands, O God, that in our lives we may find that they are so dry. Lord, you're the one who did that to the Israelites, Lord, and you provided water in the wilderness. Abba, Father, we, we, we know that there are those uh, people, Lord, that are trusting you and believing you, Lord, for different, Father, things, O King of Glory. Abba, Father, we pray. The Lord, you're going to meet them at the point of need. Father, we trust you and we believe in you. The Lord, you are powerful and you are all loving, O God. For this we pray, trusting and believing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bring you good. Amen. Praise God once more. Amen. We thank God for the wonderful wife. And yes, his promises are a yes and an amen. So you should trust him. And as we have been told today that he's faithful to those who will be faithful to him. So at the back of our hearts or our being, let's ask ourselves and examine ourselves if we are faithful to God so that he may be, feel, he may be faithful to us. And we thank you so much, our evangelist, for the wonderful word. And may we share the grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.